Hi, welcome to Copenhagen. Thanks for dropping in. Hope everybody is doing well. Uh, today uh, I'm talking about stashes, uh, which is what we call it when people uh, collect diamond paintings faster than they can do them. And a lot of people are guilty of it, including myself. So this one is called Check Your Stash and I will explain why. So uh, those very kind people uh, who have subscribed to this channel will know that I do quite a lot of unboxings and unbaggings. So normally what I do is I get the box and open it up and we'll have a look at what's inside, we'll have a look at the canvas, we'll have a look at the drills, we'll have a look at the uh, goodie bag. <coughs> After I've finished doing it, what I normally do is I just uh, get all the drills, I put them in the freezer bag and I put the key in the freezer bag so that I know which diamond painting the drills are for and then they go in a cupboard and I'll pick whatever I'm doing next and I'll take the bag out and then I check the drills. So what you should do when you receive it is you should go through all of the bags and check that you have everything that you should have. This is the one that I'm working on at the moment. It's a custom and it has 80 colours and that is a total of 511 bags. So I went through this, checked three bags of 152, yes, check, yes, check, yes, check. So everything is ticked off. But I did that after uh, the bag had been sitting in the cupboard for a while and I decided I was going to do it. So I have a cupboard that has bags and bags and bags of drills with the key. So this is one from uh, Diamond Art Club and you can see the key, no check marks because I haven't checked it yet. Then um, if I get them and I don't have a paper key. Uh, normally they're not like that, they're normally more like this on a sheet of A4. Um, if I don't have this and the only key is on the canvas, what I do is I still put it in a bag and I just put in a little note telling me what it is and that means something to me so I know what these drills are for. This is a small one. Um, so that's another one. And then this is the one that I'm going to start working on next. Uh, I did this uh, unboxing not too long ago. So I have the key. I have all the drills there, hopefully. And again, the key hasn't been checked. So what I need to do is go through and check all the DMC codes and check that I have everything. This one doesn't actually have the quantity. Oh, sorry, it does. I was reading that wrong. Um, it does have the quantity. So I can see how many drills, but what I meant was it doesn't have the bags. So I don't know how many bags I need for these different numbers. So all you can do in that case is check that you have DMC number 154. You have got them. Check. 169. Yep. Yeah check and then check them so that you know you've got all of the colours. Some go into a bit more detail like the first one that I showed you and actually tell you how many bags um, you should have. So you could still have the DMC number but like for example this first one 152 maybe when I checked it I would find I only had two bags. So the reason that you do this is so that you know before you start if you're missing anything and you can contact the company and say, I've received this, I've checked it, and I'm missing a bag of 152, and um, the, the companies will send it out to you. So this is the one that I'm working on. This is going to be done at some time. This is going to be done at some time. And this is the one that I'm going to do next. So when I finish the diamond painting gym one, I will take this sheet out, I will dump out all these drills and I'll go through and check it off. 
So that's the way that I've been doing it. Um, I know that there is a risk that some drills are going to be missing, but I've lost count now. I think I've done about 16 or 18 diamond paintings so far, and I think one, maybe two, uh, was shot off a few drills. Now, because I keep the drills that I have left at the end, um, I have quite a range of spares, so I always think I've probably got what I was missing and I can probably get by. Feeling that, I can contact the company. Drills aren't really that expensive and I'll, I'll just buy them if I need to. And that's the way that I've been thinking about it. Until um, a few days ago, somebody had posted in a group, a Facebook group, and was asking about the DMC numbers, like are the DMC numbers the same for um, all the diamond paintings? In fact, I think they asked if the symbols and the DMC numbers were the same. So for example, they would be asking if every DMC 152 is number five. They aren't. But every DMC 152 is the same color. And the one that everybody normally chooses when they're talking about DMCs is 310. 310 is black. It's always black if they're using the DMC uh, setup. So I thought what I would do is take a picture of drills from some different companies uh, of the bags because they are different. Some are long strings, some are like this, uh, some are in little bags. So I thought I'll just pick out three bags at random and I'll take pictures of the black uh, from all three to show that the bags can look different um, but the drills are always black when it's 310. So I picked uh, one of the ones I just happened to pick was this one and um, I chose this one because the background is black so 48 bags of black 9,469 drills, so no problem getting black. Uh, opened up and found out there's no black. I don't have any black in this bag. So I am missing 48 bags of 310, or nearly, well, 9,500 drills. Now, I unboxed this in August or September 2020, and I only realised I was short a few days ago. Now, that is my fault, and I totally accept that. Um, but then I started to think, okay, is that too long? Because most companies will say if you're missing any drills or if you have a problem with the canvas, you've maybe got bubbles in it, creases in it, something, double print, that sort of thing. Most companies say that um, they will replace it. So I thought, okay, it's been a very long time. So I sent them an email, I explained what had happened, and I just asked them, um, will you still replace them? Now, it's just a question. It's not saying I think you should or anything. It's just basically, will you uh, replace them? So I sent an email off. I haven't had a reply yet. But then I thought about it. So I started emailing different companies to see what their policy is on this. And I found that some companies give a 30-day uh, sort of warranty. So if you don't contact them within 30 days of receiving your diamond painting and you find out that you're missing drills or you find out that there's something wrong with the canvas, um, if it's after 30 days, they won't replace them. So I thought this is, making pe this is worth making people aware of, especially people who have collections or stashes where they have quite a lot of diamond paintings. I have seen a lot of pictures in the groups where people show pictures of their stashes and it looks as if the, uh, the packages haven't been opened. So it's really just to make people aware that, that some companies do have a time limit on when they'll accept uh, responsibility to replace the drills or replace the canvas. But I have to mention that two companies that have contacted me so far I think about five have contacted me. Um, two that have contacted me so far have said it doesn't matter how long you've had them. 
if you open them even after a year um, and you find out that something's wrong or uh, drills are missing, they will still honour it and they will still send them out. And Diamond Dart Club are one of those companies. They said that they have a lifetime warranty, so if you have any problem when you eventually open it, they will replace it. So uh, you don't have to worry about Diamond Dart Club. The other company was Home Craftology. Uh, they said the same thing. If you buy from them, they will replace the stuff if anything's missing or damaged and um, there isn't really any time limit. So I just thought it's worth mentioning that they are all different. Um, still waiting on quite a few getting back to me, but I decided just to do the video anyway because it's sort of irrelevant. Some companies will replace the stuff no matter how long you've had it sitting, and some other companies won't. So that was really the point that I was wanting to make, that um, if you don't want to get caught out. Now, I think uh, I was really unlucky with this because I was expecting, okay, sometimes you may get some missing, it'd be maybe one or two bags, but I wasn't expecting 9,500 drills to be missing. The sort of positive side is, I think I actually may have 9,500 black. I um, have a lot of black that I've kept from all the ones that I've done in the past. So we'll see how it goes. Um, failing that, um, I, I've got someone I can contact and, and uh, I can just buy whatever I'm, I'm short of. So, like I said, this was really just for people who are building up a stash and they aren't really checking, uh, they aren't checking the canvas or they aren't checking uh, the drills. I've checked the canvases for all of these because I unbox them and I flatten them out and show people them and I check the print quality. So that's all been done. It's not the canvases um, that are going to catch me out, it's the drills. So uh, that's really it. So my advice, even though I'm not going to follow it myself, is check your stash. So that is it. Uh, very wise words. Check your stash. Um, as I said, the reason I decided to do the video is I just wondered how many people knew that uh, some companies won't replace anything that's missing or damaged after a certain period of time. Um, again, I hadn't really thought about it too much because when I do the unboxings, obviously if I find faults in the canvases, I find it then and I have that has happened and I have had replacements sent to me. but. Um, like I said, the way I've been doing it is just basically, I just throw the drills in a bag, tie up and check them whenever. Um, as I said, I know that there was oh, there's always going to be a chance that some will be missing, but I just didn't expect that many to be missing. Um, but it, it's just how it goes. So, um, as I said, I know it's my own fault. I'm not, I'm not uh, complaining about it. I'm just uh, raising the awareness, hopefully, of uh, people who watch this video. Um, because it is very easy um, when you start to, to buy one and then you maybe see another two that you like, then another few, and you get them all uh, sort of in rapid succession and they just get put in a shelf or a cupboard and they sit there until you're ready to do them. So it's just to be aware that some companies it's 30 days, which is, to be fair, plenty of time, a whole month to check through them. Um, it's just I've got in the habit of not checking them and uh, it looks like I'm going to have to pay the price one way or another. So uh, that was it for today. Um, no, no diamond paintings, no pens, no gadgets. Just uh, check your stash. So thanks for watching. Um, I am on Instagram if anybody's uh, interested in that. I post up pictures and videos uh, occasionally that uh, I don't post anywhere else. And I also have a Facebook group if you're interested in meeting up with uh, other diamond painters and uh, just talking about diamond painting, getting to know each other. And I also do uh, YouTube lives, um, especially on a Saturday. Uh, on Saturday evenings, uh, my wife and I do YouTube Lives and we talk about everything and anything. 
the main point is just to get to know other diamond painters around the world and um, just relax, uh, talk about everything and anything really, have a bit of fun and that is the point. But if people come in and they do ask any questions about diamond painting, we are all more than happy to talk about diamond painting. But we do, uh, we do wander off into different things. Uh, I've, I've been learning things like uh, squeaky cheese. I didn't know that squeaky cheese was a thing. Um, blue crabs. I didn't know about blue crabs either. Uh, these things just popped up in a random live. Uh, I do them during the week, just when I have time. I just uh, I do a whip and chat, and I'm basically just working on whatever it is I'm doing and uh, talking to people that come in. So uh, the conversations can go anywhere. But people seem to enjoy it and I enjoy the, the conversation. Um, I enjoy the fact that I don't know what we're going to be talking about. Um, so that, that's fun for me. Um, gets away from doing these uh, YouTubes where everything's just basically set. Um, I don't have any feedback from people. I just have to go with it. So I enjoy doing the whips. So that's it. Um, if you uh, want to catch us, we are on live on Saturdays between 8 and 9 p.m. Central European time. If you join the Facebook group, the time, uh, the time zones, uh, Eastern Central time and Eastern and all that stuff, all that American stuff that I don't understand, uh, the times are all up on there. But uh, as I said, we've started doing a quiz, uh, or did I say, I'm not sure. Um, we started doing quizzes, um, which are just totally random, and they're, we try and keep them quite funny. Um, so people are beginning to watch them in the replay. I know that I have someone in Australia. Uh, our live is a bit too early for her. And she watches the replay and joins in on the quizzes. So if you're a quiz type person, you might enjoy it. So that's it for today. In the meantime, take care, be safe, wash your hands and check your stash.